This is one of the worst crimes ever committed in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A man single-handedly mismanaged over 100 billion in a nation where we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of graduates robbing the streets. A man mismanaged 100 billion. The same man is cruising on the street of Abuja with bulletproof cars. What is the future of Nigerian nation? Islamist militants on the move in northeast Nigeria. It's rare footage of the group Boko Haram. The insurgents filmed this themselves. The target, the main military barracks in Maiduguri. There was a firefight with the Nigerian army, but Boko Haram managed to breach the barracks. They then burst open the cells and set many suspected Islamist militants free. We cannot, and I repeat, we cannot negotiate with these guys. We've got what it takes to crush them off. You only begin to negotiate when you've not done your homework. When you've not put in all what you should put in place, in place. So when they have taken over your kids or your citizens and hold them ransom, there is nothing you can do. Any attempt at rescue operation, there will be high collateral damage. You will lose nearly half or over three quarters of them. And what you are compelled to start negotiating. As a country, with a strong defense force, haven't actually equipped your inventory? My God, you go out there and crush the enemy. That is what I expect from Nigeria. We did this in Liberia, we did this in Sierra Leone, we did it in the... What is happening with us? Is this Nigeria? Our sovereignty is threatened. Bandits have taken over this country. And we are watching. We are watching. For Christ's sake, we must save this country. This is the only land we have. Can someone tell the president that Nigeria is sinking? We are sinking. Every day we are sinking. How does the leadership of a nation shape the lives of its citizens? When the helm of a nation falters, what becomes of the everyday people living within its borders? In Nigeria, these are not just philosophical musings, but the harsh reality faced by millions every day. Consider the tale of Okachukwu, a farmer in a small village in the heartland of Nigeria. He woke up one morning to find his crops razed to the ground, his livestock gone, and his life's work undone overnight. This was not the result of a natural disaster, but of a rising tide of insecurity sweeping across the nation, a stark testament to the cost of Nigeria's leadership's failure to protect its citizens. Now let's shift our gaze to Amina, a mother of three in the bustling city of Lagos. Every day, she watches the prices of basic commodities skyrocket, her meager earnings becoming more inadequate by the day. The culprit, a soaring inflation rate, an undeniable sign of Nigeria's economic mismanagement. These stories are not isolated incidents, but a glimpse into the lived experiences of Nigerians nationwide. From the rural farmer to the urban dweller, the impact of leadership failures and economic mismanagement is palpable. Yet, amidst the hardship, one can't help but marvel at the resilience of the Nigerian people. Like Chinedu, a young tech entrepreneur, who despite the economic decline, continues to innovate and create, providing employment for others in his community. Or Fatima, a teacher who despite the lack of resources, continues to educate the future leaders of the nation. However, resilience alone cannot rectify the consequences of a lack of vision from the top. Nigeria's leadership must step up, plan for the future, and create an environment where citizens like Okachukwu, Amina, Chinedu and Fatima are not just surviving but thriving. In essence, the human toll of Nigeria's leadership failures extends beyond the headlines, penetrating the everyday lives of its people. From promise to pain, the story of Nigeria's economic decline is not just a tale of numbers and statistics, but a narrative of human struggle and resilience. So, as we delve deeper into the real impact of Nigeria's leadership crisis, it becomes increasingly clear that the fate of a nation lies not just in the hands of its leaders, but also in the strength and resilience of its people. And for Nigeria, the time for change is now. The title is Renew Oped Budget. I thank you most sincerely for, atten for your attention. 
may we collectively chart the course towards a brighter and cleaner future for our great now, nation. As the Nigerian leadership continues to chant its mantra of renewed hope, the reality for the average Nigerian citizen is a stark contrast, a bitter echo of renewed suffering. The economic hardship has deepened, the currency exchange rate has quadrupled within a space of mere seven months, and the leaders appear unperturbed by the crisis that is rocking the nation. The common man's plight has intensified, as the so-called renewed hope seems to be a distant dream, buried under the weight of leadership failure. It's a tale of resilience tested to its limits, as the Nigerian people continue to endure unforetold suffering. Yet, they hold on to hope, onto the belief that change will come. But how long can they wait? How long before the resilient spirit of the Nigerian people breaks under the strain of the leadership crisis? As we explore this further, it's clear that the mantra of renewed hope needs to be more than just words. It needs to be a reality, a tangible change that the Nigerian people can see, feel and benefit from. And for that to happen, the leadership must rise above its failures, take responsibility and usher in the change that Nigeria so desperately needs. In the face of unprecedented woes and suffering, the Nigerian people continue to endure. The harsh realities of their existence are painted in stark relief as the unemployment rate continues to skyrocket, particularly among the youth. The job market is saturated, opportunities are few and far between, and the youth, the supposed backbone of the nation, are left in a state of despair, their dreams shattered, their hope dwindling. The poverty line isn't just crossed, it's been obliterated. The gap between the rich and the poor isn't just widening, it's becoming a chasm. The rich continue to flourish, their wealth multiplying, while the poor are left to languish in abject poverty, their hopes of a better life fading into the distance. And then there's the healthcare system, or rather, the lack thereof. Basic healthcare services have become a luxury that the average Nigerian can hardly afford. Hospitals lack adequate facilities, healthcare professionals are underpaid and overworked, and the people suffer, their health declining, their lives hanging in the balance. These are not just statistics, but the lived realities of millions of Nigerians, a testament to the unprecedented woes and suffering in the land. It's a bitter pill to swallow, a harsh reality to face, but it's the truth. And it's a truth that the Nigerian leadership needs to confront if they are to bring about the change that they so loudly proclaim. Every day, Nigerians wake up to the struggle for survival, a struggle that has become all too familiar. Their resilience is tested time and time again, their strength pushed to its limits. Yet, they rise, determined to face another day. Meet Ada, a single mother of three who wakes up at the crack of dawn to sell her goods at the local market. She barely makes enough to feed her children, let alone send them to school. Yet, she persists, her spirit unbroken, her resolve unshaken. Then there is Chijioke, a young graduate who has resorted to driving a taxi to make ends meet. Despite his degree, he found no job in his field, a harsh reminder of the reality for many Nigerian youth. He drives long hours, navigating the bustling streets of Lagos, yet he remains hopeful, his dreams of a better life still alive. And let's not forget the small businesses, the lifeblood of the Nigerian economy. These businesses, often owned by families or individuals, are feeling the brunt of the economic crisis. They struggle to stay afloat, their profits dwindling, their survival threatened. Yet, they continue to fight, their resilience a testament to the spirit of the Nigerian people. In the midst of these struggles, the spirit of resilience and hope continues to shine through, a beacon of light in the midst of darkness. Despite the hardships, despite the suffering, the Nigerian people continue to rise, their spirit unbroken, their hope undying. This is the struggle for survival, the daily reality for countless Nigerians. Yet even in the face of adversity, they remain steadfast, their resilience a beacon of hope in these trying times. As the struggles and suffering continue, there emerges a powerful cry, a cry for change. It rings out clear and loud, reverberating through the bustling streets, the crowded markets, the quiet villages of Nigeria. From the northernmost reaches of Sokoto to the southern shores of Port Harcourt, the cry is the same. Enough is enough. The youth, the backbone of the nation, are leading the charge. 
With passionate voices and fiery determination, they rally, they protest, they demand. They march under the scorching sun, they chant in the pouring rain, their voices echoing with the collective call for a better Nigeria. They are not just the leaders of tomorrow, but the agents of change today. Their demands are simple yet profound. Jobs not just for the educated, but for all willing to work. Education, not just for the privileged, but for every child born under the Nigerian sun. Healthcare, not just for those who can afford it, but for every citizen of this great nation. They are tired of empty promises, of unfulfilled dreams. They want action, they want change, and they want it now. These cries are not just a demand, they are a plea, a plea for survival, a plea for dignity, a plea for a better Nigeria. The leadership must listen, must act, must respond. For the cry for change is not just a call to action, it's a testament to the resilience of the Nigerian people, a testament to their unyielding hope for a better future. In this scene, the cry for change is not just audible, it is palpable. It is a plea for survival, a plea for a better Nigeria. And as the cries echo across the nation, one can only hope that they will not fall on deaf ears. The time for change is now, and the people are ready. With the cries for change echoing across the nation, the people of Nigeria are united in their quest for a better future. Their resilience is not just a sign of their strength, but a call to action. Yet this isn't a fight they can win alone. They need your help, your voice, your action. Background music fades into a more inspiring tone. Each one of us has a role to play. Each one of us can make a difference. If you find resonance in this message, kindly share it with others. Let the echoes of these cries reach the corridors of power, urging those in government to pay attention and take necessary actions. Social media platforms have the power to amplify voices, to turn whispers into roars. Use them. Share this video. Spread the word. The power of unity is not just in the numbers, but in the shared purpose, in the shared hope for a better future. And as you stand with the people of Nigeria, don't forget to stand with us. Subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Your support in spreading awareness is greatly appreciated. Remember, change isn't just about big gestures. It's about small actions that add up. It's about each one of us doing our part. So let's stand together. Let's fight together. Let's change Nigeria together because together we are stronger. Together we can make a difference. Together we can create a better Nigeria. Background music swells to a climax. The cry for change is loud and clear. Let's make sure it's heard. Let's make sure it's acted upon. Because the time for change is now. And the people are ready. Are you?